nine months of our lives generally occur inside our mother's womb. To keep us alive, the body of our mother changes a bit. Yes, I know they put on a lot of extra weight. But I need to elaborate on the inside. Watch and learn how our mothers take care of everything even before we are born. This topic deals with the structure and function of the placenta, fetal hemoglobin in the placental region. The intimate bond which a mother shares with her child starts from the womb. Let us explore this in detail. We find that the fetus is attached to the uterine wall through a thick tube-like structure known as an umbilical cord. The umbilical cord extends into a disc-like structure attached to the uterus which is known as the placenta. On further examining the internal constitution of the umbilical cord, it is seen that it is interspersed with arteries and veins. The placenta can be differentiated into two zones, namely the fetal zone which contains the network of blood capillaries from the embryonic portion and the maternal zone which contains a rich supply of maternal blood. The oxygen and nutrients like glucose, amino acid and salts from the mother's blood easily diffuse through this membrane into the fetal blood supply. Similarly, CO2 and waste products from the fetal blood capillaries diffuse back into the mother's blood. Thus, the function of the placenta is to help in providing nutrition to the developing fetus. It facilitates the excretion of gases and excretory products from the fetal RBCs to the mother's RBCs. Fetal Hemoglobin In the placental region, we observe numerous RBCs flowing out of the maternal artery. If we study a maternal RBC closely, we find that it is made up of a red pigment called hemoglobin. A close structural analysis of hemoglobin reveals that it is a tetramer which constitutes two alpha polypeptides and two beta polypeptide subunits. Each polypeptide subunit is attached to a heme prosthetic group. Likewise, each heme group can bind one oxygen molecule. Thus, four oxygen molecules can get attached to the tetramer. Thus, the hemoglobin molecules help in oxygen transport through RBCs. The RBCs transport the oxygen into the fetal zone. Numerous RBCs are seen inside the artery. Let us observe a single fetal RBC. The hemoglobin molecule present over there shows a somewhat different structure. Here, the polypeptide tetramers constitute two alpha and two gamma subunits. The gamma subunits allow a certain distortion in the structure of hemoglobin. This distortion facilitates quick binding of oxygen to the heme prosthetic group. Thus, the hemoglobin's affinity for oxygen increases. The fetal hemoglobin is designated as hemoglobin F or HBF. Let's summarize. The function of the placenta is to help in providing nutrition to the developing fetus. It facilitates the excretion of gases and excretory products from the fetal RBCs to the mother's RBCs. Hemoglobin's affinity for oxygen increases. The fetal hemoglobin is designated as hemoglobin F or HBF. <laughs>